So to make a stencil, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the bottle so that we've got a flat working surface. When you're cutting the bottle up, cut off all the sort of rounded pieces so that you're left with a flat piece. When you've got your flat piece ready, what you can do, because you can see through it, you can actually trace off a pattern to work from. Um, I've opened one of my sketchbooks and I'm going to attach this to my sketchbook to try and experiment with some print. I've chosen this page here because there are some simple patterns that might work quite well on a stencil. Fix your um, bottle, your plastic, over the image that you want to do with some tape. And here's the stencil design. I've cross-hatched it in black pen so that you can see the pattern. It's a very abstract pattern. The next step is to cut it out. The cutting out can be done with scissors. Um, if you're going to use a knife, you need to use a proper cutting mat and always cut away from you. Be really careful not to cut yourself. Um, keep the little small pieces that you've cut out. So these can come in useful for masking off later for pieces um, in your sketchbook. Prepare um, a ground in your sketchbook for using your upcycled stencils. You can combine your stencil in lots of different with colours, with different techniques to create more texture and work into your work for um, a jolly, vibrant piece in your sketchbook. Or you could use cardboard, um, an old cereal packet and paint on there, although it's a good idea to put a primer on first.